Welcome. I want to share with you today a few words from Luke chapter 10. These are the words of Jesus as he speaks about discipleship. Verse 57 reads, As they were going along the road, someone said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus said to him, Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. To another he said, Follow me. But he said, Lord, let me first go and bury my father. And Jesus said to him, Leave the dead to bury their own dead, but as for you, go and proclaim the kingdom of God. Yet another said, I will follow you, Lord, but first let me say farewell to those at my home. Jesus said to him, No one who puts his hand to the plow and looks back is fit for the kingdom of God. Jesus in his ministry says some things that are so very encouraging and comforting to us. And then sometimes he says some things that are tremendously challenging. And this is one of these passages here. He's talking about the cost of following him, the cost of discipleship. And the short answer, or the short, in a, in a summarized version, what he's saying to us about discipleship following him is that it is very costly. It costs us something to follow Jesus. That's not to say that we have to pay out of our own pocket. We have to empty our bank accounts in order to gain entry into the kingdom of God as though we buy it or purchase it with what we have. In reality, we know that Jesus Christ in his death and resurrection has already paid in full the cost of us to enter the kingdom of heaven. He's paid it all through his blood shed for us. And that is the wonderful news we are not able to earn it. There's no way possible that we could earn it. Jesus pays the price for us. But having received this in full blessing, this gift from God that we could never repay him for, Jesus does point out to us that it is going to cost us something, that it will cost us our time and our talents and our treasures. This will be something that will not be easy for us. In fact, we will find it so challenging that at times we are going to throw up our hands and say, how will I ever be able to follow Jesus Christ? And the answer is, in and of ourselves, we will not be able to. Only by God's grace are we saved. Only by God's grace are we able to live the Christian life. And that's where God's Holy Spirit comes in. He is the one who walks alongside of us. That's what the word that Jesus uses in the Gospels for the Holy Spirit, paraclete, that's what it means, it talks about someone or something coming alongside of another for the purpose of assisting. And that's what the Holy Spirit does. He brings us to faith in Christ. He assists us in, in living our life with Christ so that with his help, we are able to follow after him. It is not an easy task, but it is something that there are rewards for. That uh, Another way of saying it is that the, the rewards that come out of following Jesus are more than anything that this world could ever offer us. And so we thank the Lord today that he has fully paid for our forgiveness and salvation, and we thank him that by his spirit, he leads us in this life of following him. And so we pray. Lord, we thank you for the gift of everlasting life, the gift of forgiveness. We pray, Lord, that you by your spirit would lead us each day to follow in the ways that Jesus leads. We pray it in his name. Amen. Peace and God's blessings to you.